By the Edge of the Sword, uh, Swords of Sovereignty, Battle of Vodingen, Vodingen, fought in the year 1288. And this is game turn two. Um, I'm just going to review a few things from turn one. The most important thing to note is that um, I'm going to verify right now again with the rules. Um, there's fatigue, discouragement, and routing. Um, rally. Um, yeah, rally is only possible. Um, Uh, if the unit is not adjacent to an enemy unit. So that's what we have here. So again, as a result of turn one, obviously the armies moved in closer to each other. The Siegfried's army grabbed this high ground here. Um, and otherwise, Jean the First army charged with knights here, pushed back these knights, and charged over here and push back these knights, yeah. Um, but of significance, these, yeah, knights, so they're flipped to their backside with the white stripe across them, across the, it's a horizontal white stripe. It's hard to see in both of these uh, units because these armies are white and cream colored, but there is a white stripe. Oh, that actually shows up fairly well on the screen here. Um, so, it, so that means it's fatigued, and it's also marked with a discouraged marker, which means that when they went to rally, they could not rally because they were adjacent to Adolphe and his uh, knights there, still in good shape. Um, so that's significant. They could not ra they could not attempt to rally because they're adjacent to the enemy. Um, obviously, again, those knights are fatigued, and Godfrey over here, he, now let's see if this shows up. There is a white line across, a fatigue line across. Um, does that show up? Eh, barely. These are really, it's like off-white colored <laughs> units with a white stripe across. But anyway, oh, so they are fatigued. Um, that is significant. Uh, I say it's significant because, again, we're talking about this is the scale and the scope of many um, of many of the by the edge of the sword battles. So you get one unit that's fatigued, a couple of units that are fatigued. It's not ins insignificant, okay, and as well as discouraged um, or routed. It's just the scale and the scope is just at that point where. Basically, any effect on an, on one unit, any effect on a unit, is not insignificant. Is not insignificant. Anyways, um, turn two. Uh, yep, I think that's all. Uh, oh, I know what. Because we're going to get into um, command. Uh, command, 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 uh, command of units. Um, so we are. We have to talk about uh, a combat unit is in command for the entire game turn. If it is uh, if it is located within the command radius of his leader during the command check phase, which is what we're doing now. So we're in game turn two. We start with phase A, which is command check. Um, uh, so units that are out of command are going to be marked out of command. We're going to have a few of those here. Um, but first, we're going to have a few of those. Um, again, command of units. Um, so, this is what I was looking for. Because here is Adolphe up here with these knights that charged. The rest of his banner is way back here. And I, was, I thought, well, certainly command radius doesn't go through this enemy unit. Actually, very spelled out black and white the radius this command radius is never affected by the presence of enemy units or by any type of terrain so you just count right through it Adolfo has a command radius of three so one two three they are in command one two three they are in command you know i never thought if this game has 
in command by extension like in the uh, Royalist and Roundhead series. Um, but I guess not because this is a different scale. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking that it is not. Nope. It is... Command. Oh, this is about leaders. How they get eliminated. What happens to seven point. What is going on here? Oh, there it is. In command units. Um, activation. When a leader uh, is activated, all units of his banner can take actions. They undertake different actions depending on whether they are in command or not. All right, so we will get to that. So I don't think there is any command by extension, so we need to mark these guys. One, two, three, and they are out of command. One, two, three, one, two, three. All right, otherwise, oop, you guys are out to Godfrey's way up here. Um, these guys way back here are out of command. All right, um, Siegfried, one, two, three, four. Um, Three for Renault. 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 Yeah. However you say the French. Um. All right. Looks like everybody else. Okay. So we have three stacks out of command, directly resulting from the leaders charging forward with their knights on uh, the first turn. All right. Um. Now we go to the um. Artillery and Archer phase, which we're just never going to have. That's okay. Initiative, leader activation. Definitely want to get that done. Uh, first for Sean the First, he has a bonus of two, so he rolls a seven. Plus two for nine. And Siegfried and rolls an eight. Plus one for nine. So it's even. When it's even, no side has the initiative. No side has the initiative. Where is it? There it is. Um, so we're just going to activate normally alternating between ascending, alternating activations in ascending order of command ratings. So that's that. Uh, so we start with the ones. We have a, we have a one here. Henry the sixth is a one. And, and, Oh, and Jean the First is a one. Okay, so we have a tie for ones. Um, so you go with uh, oh, if you tie, then oh, you go with the side with the army commander as the smaller bonus. Secret has a one. Jean has a two. So Secret has the lower bonus which means that Henry the sixth is going to go first. So that's this banner right here. He's got knights, dismounted men-at-arms, knights, and mounted... or knights with him. All right, they are going to... Well, they're going to fight here, and then... Um, Actually, I think they're just going to fight here, fight Godfrey and his knights. Um, there's no charging because they're already adjacent. Um, they are up on a hill, um, attacking down. Um, ooh, Henri the sixth has a bonus of three. Wow, funny. He has a command rating of one, but a bonus of three. All right. 